there's an interview this morning on the BBC Sport website. Where, I can't remember his name. He's the he's the attack and skills coach for the England team. He's in Scott Wisemantle. Wisemantle, yeah. And the entire it's really interesting because the entire interview is about they've now uh, adapted into their training sessions uh, a, a period of time where they say mistakes are allowed. High risk creative rugby is allowed for the next fifteen to twenty minutes, and to me. That is really, really interesting because I suspect now I am I am surmising and I don't have the inside track, but I suspect Ireland's response to turnovers against Italy is when we go down to training and we say training's going well, is tighten up, make sure we don't make those mistakes again, continue to do what you're doing and just do it better. That to me is a big worry because that means we're going to go out and try and be excellent at the same plan. Mm. And it doesn't promote creativity or empower players to take risks. What England are doing is saying, go out and make a few mistakes in training in order to get better at the skills to be creative. I don't know if we're doing that. And it, it reminds Reminds me of Argentina prior to, okay, we'd five injuries and blah, blah, blah. They, de- they deconstructed our game in, in the last World Cup and they did it through offloads. And what happened then two years before that, they lost 78-10, I think, to South Africa, trying to play that way. So they got worse in order to get better. What we're doing is the same thing. We make the mistakes, we go back in, let's make sure we tighten up and we do it better this week and this week we'll drive harder. So then you get the sound bites, training has gone well. Mm. But has training been any different? I don't know. That's what I'm worried about. And I thought the Wise Mantle interview was really interesting because they're specifically allowing periods of time in that cauldron of training to go and make a hell of, hell of a lot of mistakes. 